Everybody makes mistakes, right? Well, I made a mistake and I just wanted to tell you what that mistake was. Hi, I'm Terry, and you're watching the Modest Economist channel. So in one of my recent videos, I was talking about Coinbase and I was very impressed with the fact that Coinbase, uh, the ticker symbol is C-O-I-N, is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Coinbase is not listed on the New York Stock Exchange. It's listed on NASDAQ. And before you start Googling NASDAQ, I'm gonna tell you what it stands for. It's an acronym for the National Association Securities Dealers Automated Quotations. So the NASDAQ is an exchange, but it's different than the New York Stock Exchange. And the fact that Coinbase is traded on NASDAQ really doesn't make any difference, but I think What's interesting is that NASDAQ um, is fully automated and there is no trading floor like the New York Stock Exchange. So there is no floor with brokers, there's no open outcry, there's really nothing going on because it's all automated. And NASDAQ is really known for emerging companies, especially emerging technology companies. There are lower requirements to be listed on NASDAQ, so the fees that NASDAQ charges are less, the number of shares outstanding are less, and so if you're a new company just looking to get listed, it's probably easier to go to NASDAQ. The New York Stock Exchange traditionally has been known for larger companies, well-established companies, companies that already have a lot of revenue, but that's all changing. If you look at the New York Stock Exchange website, they are really trying to capture some of these new technology companies because they're both businesses. They both sell shares of their business, the exchange. So there it is. Wonder if you caught it. My mistake, Coinbase is not listed on the New York Stock Exchange. It's listed on NASDAQ. And I'm hoping you saw the commercial at Super Bowl halftime. That was a great ad for Coinbase. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll see you soon.